How's it going guys? Chris Baker again with some more Historic Brawl. Today we are checking out Ishin, Two Heavens of One, and this is Three Drop Tribal. Um, so we're going to keep this hand because it's not going to get any better. Uh, lead on Dragon Skull Summit. So every card in the deck is three mana. This is one of the ones that I felt uh, might be a little tough because uh, three mana is a bit harsh. Like we, if we get a rocks down on turn three, it's not like two drop tribal where we can just. Uh, I think we get white here. Yeah, it's not like two drop tribal where an on curve rock translates into being able to cast two spells instead of one. Hmm. I think we get down Nidir first. And let's gain life because we're going to need it. I decided not to build a four drop tribal deck. I may at some point in the future. Like the tribal uh, mana valued episodes have not gone out yet. So I don't know. I don't know if you guys actually like them or if I'm just being a little... A little crazy with some of my life choices. This is my only dungeon card, so. Uh, yeah, we'll actually keep the land drop because it's gonna get us. It's gonna get us uh, treasure, right? Because they put something in front of this, they're gonna lose. Well, actually, we can actually save Nadir now, too, it, depending on how they block. They did not block. Okay. Uh, let's get down a Howling Golem. Yeah, so we had two double three drop turns, which is really good. Uh, we swing in again. Murderous Rider, in theory, can protect our boy. Uh, scry two. Don't really know what I'm looking for here. I'm actually going to keep Demonic Embrace in case. Just in case. We'll make the two one ones. They have a pretty big board. I don't want to. I don't want to risk losing some of my creatures. So if they block here to get rid of a deer, I can murderous rider to kind of solve the issue. Do it like this, and we'll murder Darius. Resolve. The tokens live. How do we spend four mana that turn? Did we actually pay for it? I don't think we did. What legendary card are they coming for? So they have a unifier. Oh my god, no thank you. Mm hmm. Uh, let's demonic embrace. Decline. Scry three. Bottom, bottom, bottom. Bar 
borrowed time seems pretty decent. Uh, because I can't really have a Joda around. No offense to my opponent, but uh, it's a bridge too far. The Deer of Demonic Embrace is not something that under normal deck struck deck can <laughs> Under normal deck construction parameters, would ever occur to me as being a worthwhile inclusion. But one of the things I think gain value in um, in formats where you're restricting your card pool is cards that can be utilized more than once, right? So, Demonic Embrace, you can cast it from your graveyard for 3 life, plus its mana cost. So having a recurring spell, I think, gains a lot of value in the uh, in formats where you can only use a certain number of cards. Uh, we'll discard a land. Decline. Draw your card. This? I think I don't. Uh, is there anything good? I guess we go through this one because it's just quick. Uh, decline. I'll lose two life. We got there. It's a three drop tribal. Not expecting many victories, but we got one. So one drop tribal got one victory, two drop kind of whiffed, and then three drop, or one will, or one out of one so far. So that's, I'm impressed. To be fair, Ishin's a fairly powerful commander, and like three drops tend to be three. Three mana value tends to be the spot in the curve where um, where the quality of creature starts to rise a bit, right? Like if you look at three drops throughout the last few standard sets, you had things like Uro, which was insanely broken. Um, you have in our current standard, you have like Graveyard Trespather, which is a pretty decent three drop. Uh, Nadar, you gotta see a little bit of play. Um, do we just, yeah, I think it doesn't matter really. Like if we're going to lose him, because we don't really have a way to protect him this time around. Uh, we might as well decline. We'll lose tail. Decline. We'll lose tail. So next time we definitely get um, the four four, which is kind of nice. I might play a Phyrexian Arena next turn. It's really hard to make uh, decisions when you know that whatever spell you're going to cast next is going to be the only spell for the turn, right? Like, normally I'd be a more bit more flippant because I'd be thinking to myself... Probably should have attacked to get rid of that. Uh huh. So let's. Each player loses a life. I guess we'll discard here. We gotta start gaining 
a lead on our opponent. So we can actually play a Seraph now. If we had played him post combat like you're supposed to, we would have gotten to keep him on board, which is really powerful. I mean, I know it, saying that is a bit weak because, right, like, generally when you see a Serac, he's not played to be on board. He's played to infinitely go through the other dungeons. Hmm. And then what else do I want? Uh, minions return. I think on this. Decline. And then we'll make another after pull, but this one's gonna die. We'll keep the one that's attacking. Like next turn we swing, we get two dungeon triggers and two 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 zombies. Like that's that's decent value. <sighs> Turns out the dungeon stuff is kind of all right if you do it twice. Hmm. And Anjo is always reanimate land. But like ramping these colors is decent enough anyways. I think we're gonna double up this way. Like, our boys are big enough that blocking doesn't do much, right? They can double block, but it's not going to be that profitable. They have to block some of it because they can't take 15 damage. Well, they could, actually. If they block Nazir, they can take 15 damage because they'll gain 2 life. Uh-huh. How do you work? Decline. We'll just reanimate him next turn. We won't get the triggers, but like the difference between paying three for him and paying five is so is such a heavy drawback that it's worth it to lose out for a turn. Oh, decline. Take action. Value three. Auto. Uh, put a plus one, plus one counter on something. Like, we're pressuring the angels. Our angel friend has not drawn a lot out of the land, so... So I say we're doing the pressure, but the pressure is really the fact that our opponent... does not have a lot of options, unfortunately. Mm hmm. So let's make sure that our reanimator can't be blocked. I say it can't be blocked, they probably still can, right? Because they're a white deck. We 
we getting a deer back next turn, I think? Is that the only option we have? Yeah. It's a fairy's protection. I like it. So I will only attack with this. You can have an attacker in this. Just to make the zombies. And to reanimate the nadir. To draw a card. Decline. I don't have anything to reanimate. And I think we go with Phyrexian Arena. Like that. The current board state makes me worried for a Wrath, right? Like if they untap Wrath, we're pretty sad. Yeah, that was something I was worried about, if I'm being honest. Uh huh. Let's uh, get rid of the Wrath, just in case they have some kind of recursion. Hmm. I'm not too scared of this. Because next turn... Oh, never mind, never mind. I am very scared. So we're gonna need hmm so I attack I get two more life and die on the crackback never mind uh, don't kill me I came so close I got so far but in the end didn't even matter and GG. GG opponent. Flying is a mechanic. You know, every other match, they've been asking me, did you have fun in the match? At first, I don't, I don't know what to make of it. I think it means I play arena too much. And honestly, that's probably true. I know from the outside looking in at some of my gameplay where I get my ass kicked repeatedly, you might think that I don't play that much, but I pair, I play a fair bit and I, and uh, I think Wizards is worried about me. <laughs> hey, we got a squee. So we can't play Ishin yet. That's a bit of an issue. But is Ichigo's dad in Bleach named Ishin? I think he is. That may have come out of nowhere, but uh, the Thousand Year Blood War arc just finished up. And I guess he was kind of like important for that arc, right? So important for the first arc of that anyways. Um, and I never, never realized his name was Asian. I don't think it's spelled the same way. Hmm. Hmm. So I think we swing. And if they double block, we make them sad. Okay, well, <laughs> those were three games. Our poor opponent, unowned, must not be having the bestest of days. Kind of sad. They're playing July, so we don't feel too sad. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, up next, we got a new deck, but I won't spoil it here. Either way, have a great day, guys.